So, speed with MBM. My name's Marcus, make sure you stick around for the entire video because in the second part of my three part series, I'm gonna be talking about speed on NBN. So basically, I just wanna go through with you what I mean by speed. Internet speed and bandwidth determine how good or how fast the connection is. That is, the more bandwidth, the easier it is to download stuff, stream movies, whatever you like to do with your internet. The particular reason why NBN has been so controversial is that it has changed so much over time with the technologies that have been rolled out that many people have had different experiences on NBN. As a result of infusing NBN with other technologies like copper and cable, they've actually had to lower the minimum speeds on the speed tiers. If you haven't checked out my first video on NBN, I definitely recommend you go and check that out first because I do explain all the NBN technologies in detail. Probably one of the biggest changes to happen to NBN is actually ACCC's guidelines on broadband speed. The ACCC outline on their website typical evening speeds that you should experience depending on which speed tier you've selected. For example, basic evening speed is a basic entry level internet speed where there should be small increases or decreases in speed depending on the quality of the connection. Standard evening speed will deliver a minimum speed of 15 megabits per second during this busy period suiting most residential customers. Standard plus evening speed delivers a minimum of 30 megabits per second during this busy period suiting a higher usage profile. Finally, our top evening speed tier will deliver a minimum of 60 megabits per second during this busy period suiting a higher usage across multiple users at once. The reason why these guidelines are so important is that it sets transparency for the consumer when they're going to purchase NBN from a retailer like Optus, Telstra, TPG, etc. This is following court enforceable undertakings where the eight providers actually admittedly misled consumers about their broadband speeds and now they have to compensate them. This is more in particular reference to the other NBN technologies like FTTN, FTTB and NBN Coaxial. The result of these court undertakings is that affected customers actually can get out of their contract with no cancellation fee or they might be entitled to a full refund as well. They can stay on their current service if they want, change plans. It's all outlined on the ACCC's website. I'll have a link in the description for that. The actual reason why ACCC uses peak evening speeds is because NBN actually is bound by congestion. The way you might visualize this is actually with traffic on a road. During off-peak hours, traffic should flow freely. Some providers vary with network capacity, so experience might be different. During peak hours, the network experiences congestion affecting your speeds, since some carriers may be able to better cater for more connections. So that's all I have today with speed on NBN. If you found this video informative, please like it down below and subscribe for my part three of the series when I'll be going through plans and provider options. Thanks for watching everyone. For now, have a good one.